hi guys in this video series i am going to solve different types of problems so this is the first video in this series today i am going to solve a mathematical induction problem so let's look at the problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that nth derivative of x to the ex is equal to x times e to the x plus n times e to the x n is positive integer so in mathematical induction the first step is base case it proves that a statement is true for the initial value okay first of all we are checking the base case so we want to prove that this statement is true for the n is equal to 1 for that we need to prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side in this equation so look at the left hand side we can write lhs is equal to d so we can substitute one for n because we get n is equal to one so dx1 x to the ex so this is the first derivative of x e, e to the x in fact x time e to the x is product of two functions so we need to use product rule to differentiate it first rewrite first function then derivative of second function so derivative of e to the x is same as e to the x plus now write the second function e to the x times derivative of first function so is one so x time e to the x plus e to the x now look at the right hand side so RHS is equal to x times e to the x plus uh, n is equal to 1 so 1 times e to the x so x e to the x plus e to the x now you can see that the answer for LHS and RHS is equal so the statement is equation is true for the n is equal to 1 okay we are done first step <coughs> so now we are going to do next step in this step assume the statement or equation is true for n is equal to 1 so you can substitute k for n actually in this case uh, the also k is positive integer so you can substitute k for n so the equation d k over dx k x time e to the x is equal to x time e to the x plus k time e to the x so here now you can see n is substituted by k these are the places okay generally we call this equation as inductive hypothesis okay we are done this step so now our final step okay we have assumed that this equation is true for n is equal to k so uh, now we have to prove that this equation is true for n is equal to k plus 1 for that now we are going to differentiate the both side of equation with respect to x so look at the derivative of this equation so when we differentiate with respect to x you need to add 1 to the power so we can write 
d k plus 1 d x to the k plus 1 times x e to the x is equal to now differentiate of right hand side so you can see this is the product of two functions so rewrite first function and then derivative of second function e to the x plus now rewrite second function and derivative of first function plus now differentiate k times e to the x and then k is a constant so write and then derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x so there is a common factor so x times e to the x plus get the common factor e to the x within brackets 1 plus k so x times e to the x plus 1 plus k times e to the x now you can see in this equation k plus 1 k plus 1 replace 4k that's it we are done so if you like this please subscribe thank you for watching